Welcome, 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 my lovelies, and thank you once again for joining, joining me and joining us as a miniature family. Um, so this is another um, part to the Art Deco build. So I think this is part number thirteen so far. Um, so I thought I would carry on and do a little bit more to that um, in between doing other work. Um, there's more stuff coming as well, so I'll be putting that on on hold. Uh, the Art Deco build until I can carry on with it but at the moment I can do another video for it so yay! Um, I have some gold skirting board here that's going to go into one of the rooms that I painted earlier and I will use as a pointy stick right now um, <laughs> so I just wanted to show you as I said in the last video I put some new shelving up I just got some pine um, floorboards um, solid wood and slotted them together tongue in groove and then cut them to length and then put them up with brackets um, it took about an hour to do but it's given us much more space so we've got at the moment I've put some art deco jugs and vases ceramics on here and um, we have our thank you our new thank you card from Carl thank you very much um, and uh, so things will just chop and change as each week goes by now and again different things will appear other things will disappear um but i just thought i'd put some art deco stuff it's usually on the shelving behind the camera there so you guys don't see all that i've got all my um slipware and glazes for my pottery and stuff so it's it's just more messy looking the shelves so and it's against that back wall so this is why we're facing this way so anyway so at the moment i've just put a, some assorted art deco vases there ceramics to go with the art deco theme of the uh, video um, so let me get some bits and pieces together oh and then we'll carry on with the video in case you can hear I can't remember if you can hear the sound in the back there um, oh hang on pointy stick um, but that's uh, the printer printing some stuff for the art deco house um, but that's going to be going on all day um, so apologies if you can hear it um, so let me get some bits and pieces and show you what I'm doing next. So as the um, the walkway below in the uh, art gallery for the for the uh, customers um, was very uh, metal, very industrial, um, very arty farty to go with the gallery. Um, as I said, the uh, the walkway in the upstairs room going from the uh, going from the lounge up to into the bedroom. That walkway um, is going to be another another style completely um, so I've started off with uh, a wood base floor I've actually stuck two bits of this wood together it makes it about four mils uh, deep um, one piece would have been suffice um, because there's no weight going to go on it as such um, and it's going to be propped up anyway um, but I just didn't wasn't sure if it would warp in time or move or bend so I've stuck two bits together and it will just give it stability and I had the wood anyway, so that's uh, that's fine. So this is the, the base of the floorway. Um, but we're not stopping there, obviously. The guys want drama. They're going to get drama. Um, so I have these uh, laser cut um, strips here. I'll show you up close. Very, very Art Deco. Uh, these, I didn't, I don't have a laser cutter um, yet. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> um, but uh, I, I bought these in the Kensington Dollhouse Fair um, a long time ago for this uh, exact house. Um, so what I'm going to do is use them. I'm going to lay them onto the, join them up, because they need to be a bit wider, and lay them onto the base of the floor. And then I'm going to cut just cut around this same shape so I have exact uh, same size on the on the floor there um, so they're they're a couple of mils deep as well so they they've got sort of holes going in so anyway I'm gonna I'll just lay this out properly mark it all just get a small saw and cut it into shape first of all so I'll do that off camera it's very boring um, takes me a while because I have to get everything just so right. It does annoy me, <laughs> but it looks good in the end, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. So let me get that done. And I'll be back. Before we carry on, 
<laughs> I just wanted to show you. Um, a friend of ours has just popped in um, for a cup of tea under chat and um, <laughs> and she decided to bring a, a couple of presents. I will show you the first one. I'll hold this up so you can see the see it better. A tiny, tiny purple duck with a bright orange beak. And it's actually the same of purple and um, an orange as the goldfish that I uh, have made. Um, so he is going to, oops, he is going to go and sit um, right by the lake, uh, right by the river in the bathroom. So uh, little, uh, little duck, and he's just a lovely size as well. So he'll sit beside the stream in the bathroom, just looking at the fish going up and down, <laughs> which is absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. And also, because a few people have uh, mentioned over time that they, uh, I remind them of uh, an English version of Bob Ross, she thought this was a great idea. <laughs> I didn't even know you could get these. <laughs> you can get lots of different ones apparently, they're, they're collectible, people collect them. So, <laughs> so I've actually got my very own Bob Ross, <laughs> which is fantastic. I'll just open this out. Let's take him out of his, his box and show you. <laughs> Here we are. There's not really a likeness now, but uh, <laughs> I used to have the, the hair, as I did say in one of my videos. But there we are. So he'll probably, he'll be very small to see, but he might actually go up on the shelf for a little while. He can sit there. <laughs> but that did make me smile. It was very nice to see her as well. Always good company. Right, let's move on. Okay, now, um, as I keep saying, um, part of the journey, um, <coughs> or the fun of the journey, is um, designing stuff, and then as you go along that journey, you change your mind and do something else. So what I have done is um, I've scrapped that bit of wood. Well, I've stored it away. I can use it for the other things. I have still used two pieces. Um, but just a, a slightly cheaper type of wood um, and I've made a I didn't I've changed the shape of it um, laying it in and putting it in um, I wanted this to be a bit bigger um, and I didn't want to cut around these um, I wanted them just lying together so when you come out of the lift you've got a nice big walkway just to walk out um, so that's changing the journey again um, I've also the two bits of wood that I've cut um, I've cut one bit one way and one bit the other way, the grain the other way, and stuck them together. Um, so just to make double sure, um, if you stick the two bits of wood in both in the same direction, then over time it could start bending or warping because all the grain is going in the same direction. So it might be flat like that, but then it might curve um, through time and through heat, um, maybe temperatures. Um, so one one way, one the other way, and that sort of fights against each other and it just helps to keep it flatter um, for longer. Um, I have then, I didn't decide that I don't want the brown wood uh, floor in um, because the gaps in these don't show an awful lot of flooring through it. Um, I also wanted to make these silver to go with the silver of the lift. So they've got the uh, shiny, I don't know, I can't really get it in this light. Um, but they've got the shiny uh, silver blobby bits, so it sort of looks glistening, a little bit, a little bit shinier than just matte. Um, and I've cut them to the right length, and I'm going to glue them. So that's the underneath. One of these is the underneath of the walkway, which I will leave plain black at the moment, unless I think of something else to add to that. Um, and the top of the walkway, I'm going to glue these, glue these on, so you see the black in the background behind it. Um, once I've glued, I've glued these on now, get them nice and sturdy. Um, I'm going to put an edging around them to, to hold everything in place um, and to give it a barrier. And then I'm going to, 
although this is not very deep, it's only a couple of millimetres deep, um, I'm going to fill it with resin. Um, so the whole flooring is filled with resin um, and that will go into the sit on the black plastic and, um, and make this nice and smooth and flat, the shiny flooring. So I'll get on and glue these together and then we can put a, an edge in around the, around okay, the edge. Okay, so there I've put the two panels onto the black plastic base or the wooden and plastic base. Clip them all round and I'll give that a good hour or so um, to dry. I'm just using a, a PVA adhesive um, and that glues um, small bits of wood to um, plastic very very well um, so I'll do that and once the once the whole thing is dry then I shall get the silver and I shall re uh, well not re I shall um, touch up that line I don't think I want a little line down the middle a black line I just want a silver line so I'll I'll fill that in just very tiny a uh, small brush um, just attention to detail okay so this is all glued on I've done the seam down the middle and I've cut um, floorboard width lengths of wood um, to go around the edges um, just to give it an edge and I've covered that in black plastic on both sides on the outside and the inside um, so it's a real just a nice black uh, finish um, so that's just given it a tiny lip along the top of the edge there so it's the depth of the wood plus the a little bit higher as well and then that makes this wide enough that it will just fit onto the um the room as it goes against the edge of the room it'll be the same width um so that will just look very very nice and here i have poured mixed up some uh, resin um together with the resin you always buy you get a a larger bottle and a, a bottle half the size so the bigger bottle you mix two lots of liquid and the smaller bottle you mix one so it's two to one um, ratio and the smaller bottle I think is the hardener and the bigger bottle is the resin so I'm just going to pour this in and I'm just going to do it I may have to stop and switch the camera off and show you what it's like when it's finished but I'm just going to spend a little while pouring bits in and then leaving it just to settle. Um, I'll just leave that bit like that and I'll just leave that to come out to the edges gradually and just start filling out and then I'll top it up as and when needed. Now I just want to show you, I've just started putting the banisters on, um, but I just wanted to show you the um, resin. I don't know if you can see it in this light um and then, oh there you can see the resin now i've poured it in and it's dried nice and solid what you will notice is the sort of purple stain just down the side there um and that is so that everybody else knows uh if you're doing anything um along the top edge of the floorboards that i use to do the edging I went round the top with a um, black felt pen um, just to blacken it the same as the rest of the, the, the colour of the plastic. And when I poured the resin in, uh, it took some of it out into the resin, which obviously I couldn't get rid of. I'd have to throw the whole thing and start again, basically, because it's very sticky and it doesn't pour out. Um, so it won't show up so much once the uh, once it's all in place. Um, so that will be fine. There'll be railing all around here and around here, and this will be up against the wall. Um, so it'll be fine. Um, but that's just to show you what can happen um, if felt pen gets near resin. It makes it puddle out into the resin, just so everyone knows. I don't mind because it's my house. Um, it can just be, it can be the way it is. I'm happy with it. <coughs> Excuse me. There we have the um, the railings in. Or the banisters, um, which I um, printed, um, 3D printer, and on the top there, painted in the same shiny um, silver as the floor in, is the, um, the banister rail, um, and that's actually, I'll show you at the end there, it's actually a curved um, bamboo coffee stirrer 
um, just cut to length. And it just gives a nice finish on the top of the, the top of the banisters there. Okay, so now we'll put this into place. I do have to make a pole um, to fit in this corner here. Um, instead of being suspended, it's going to be from the floor up, being held up. Um, so I'll put the pole together now and show you what I'm doing there. Okay, so I have a, um, a steel um, rod here, cut to length. It's hollow. Um, it doesn't have to be solid, um, but it's steel. Um, and I also have a selection of springs, different widths, different types, different styles, and a box of washers, all different um, shapes and sizes, all in chrome. And I have started to build here the base of the column. So I'm just putting three uh, washers together with this spring inside. Um, and just glued the whole thing together then I'm going to get the pole and place that down into the um, into the spring and then decorate the rest of the pole um, with bigger springs okay so I'll just get that put together and then we'll see what that looks like with the um, flooring I'm really really pleased with that I think that looks really art deco very different from the floor below. Um, see what what you think, guys. I'm really pleased with it. So you come out of the elevator and walk onto this platform with the resin floor and the woodcut or the woodcuts, uh, sparkly banister, and out onto the. So it's all floor level, the whole thing. Um, and then underneath here, we have a, a black shiny base with a fitment at the top there for the pole. And that comes down onto the floor below in the lounge. And there's the, the uh, details to the base of the pole. Oh. And there's Georgie in the garden. Georgie! <laughs> Let's just go and say hello. And there's Nigel. Nigel boy. And Georgie boy. Hello. Hey. They've come under the, the, the shelter here because it's been raining. Okay, so now um, this has been left open around here so I could install the, um, the walkway here without anything uh, getting in my way. And that was nice and easy to install. And now I can replace the uh, finish off this room with the walls. I can put this wall in. I can refit the window along the front here, like the window below. And once that's fitted, then I can measure along here and put the cut the balcony to size and put that in. Um, because it, it's now different from the original kit. In the original kit, it went right from front to back. Um, so I'll cut that, put that in place, and that will stop anyone falling over, either by the owners or any visitors. We don't want that. Health and safety. <laughs> right. I just thought I would show you. Um, I finished papering the side to the this wall. Um, the gap at the top is okay because I'm putting skirting bo uh, coving along there. Um, and obviously skirting board at the base. Um, but just to show you how I've put it in, um, at the end there, I've put a piece of wood across the top and a couple of weights just to keep it exactly flush with the top of the wall so it doesn't move slightly down or slightly up. And then I've put um, set squares on each side just to show me and everyone else that it's um, exactly at right angles to the floor. And then I'll, I've glued it along. It's only glued along this bit here, obviously and a little bit at the end of the wall. Um, so I'll give that a couple of hours really um, before I place this wall at the front here so I don't move anything. Okay, so I've put this uh, all the walls in at the front. That's the round, rounded glass window. Um, that's in. That's the only one that doesn't open, but on the side of the house this slides out so you can um, move furniture around and decorate and what have you and a window here slides in and out 
um, so you can take it out like it is at the moment and then just put your hands in and decorate. I've still got the walls there to decorate, um, but I've got something special lined up for the back wall, um, which I'm sure will be in another video, probably the next Art Deco one after this. And if we come through into the bedroom here, um, I've got the door to um, make and put in. And then we have, if I show you here, we've got different wall lights on the back wall, three of them to light up this room. And then maybe a table lamp here and there. Um, but I have got the all the walls in at the front there. And then I just need to fit the, the big um, side wall here and the big glass bit that goes in there um, to finish that off. Um, and then, actually, I can put the floor on next, the next floor on, before I fit these windows in at the front. So let's put the, let's put the next floor on top and see how that looks. So I've put the, uh, the ceiling on, or the floor, depending on which way you look at it. Um, and it's ready to put flooring on now. Um, but before we do that, <clears throat> I want to put a light in the bathroom on the ceiling. As you can see, I've added another um, shape there for the ceiling. Um, I don't know if you can see it better around this side or not. Ah, yes. And I've measured the whole thing so it's central to where I want it. And I've put a hole exactly in the middle um, to hang a central light. Um, I haven't added coving yet. That has to go on. And uh, also in the bedroom, I'm going to put coving in there next as well. Um, and then I can hang the light. Okay, so hopefully you can uh, see this. I'm sort of stretching up with the camera quite high up so you can see it from the top. Um, when I've drilled the hole for the light coming up and through, I've now routed out a uh, line there um, with the Dremel. And also I want one at the front here in the middle. Um, so I've done the same thing back there all the way back to the back of the house. And then in the bedroom, the ceiling light on the bedroom back down to the centre. Um, what I will do next is put the back wall in so I can then drill a hole straight through the back wall and then I'll um, uh, fix the lights after that. Okay, so I've put the um, side window in. Um, I won't build the front bit until later. And I've put the back wall in as well. Um, at the end here, this is where the uh, room comes to an end on the inside. And then this has doors here going out into the a terraced area. So I've um, there's a, a chimney type thing there that goes in and a sloping wall and some posts. And then there's going to be a, a bit of perspex going around there. Um, so I've painted all that undercoat white. We'll leave that to dry. Then I'll give it a top coat. Um, now I've got the back wall in, I'll wait for that to dry and then I can drill holes in the back, three holes, and I can put the lights in um, on the floor below and tape them down and put them throughout the back there and then we can carry on building. Okay, um, as you can see, I've put the uh, walls up for all the, uh, <coughs> the next floor. Um, that's the window frame on one side. I've just got the bit at the front and this one here, we can just glue on. Um, they're already painted. Um, this room in here um, at the end, I think is going to be a spare bedroom, a guest bedroom. Um, that's my plan so far. And this was uh, two solid walls here with a doorway. And I've cut the top off of this wall as well to make a big archway and make this all one room just like I did with the uh, the lounge there, um, or rather the uh, the bedroom, sorry. That's the lounge, which I've done the same as well. It's just giving more light and it's taken away these narrow corridors, um, which would have been quite dark. I didn't like the, the design. And that's what you can do um, with your own um, kits when you're building. Um, they're only bits of wood or MDF and you can do what you want. You can add bits, you can fill in holes. Um, I filled in the stairwell from the floor below coming up, so uh, we don't have stairs there. Um, but this room here at the end, um, this has a wall here, and then there's doorways coming out onto this outdoor terrace here, 
which is going to look really, really fab at the top. Um, but this room, I've painted it white. All the walls are white and there'll be lots of light coming in. Um, and it's only it's actually going to be the uh, the couples uh, or the owners of the building. It's going to be their studio because they like art and do art themselves as well, as well as selling other people's pieces. Um, so this will be a studio. There'll be lots of paint everywhere, shelves, um, just lots of utensils. There'll be easels and things, half done paintings. So it's hopefully when it's finished, it will eventually look like a, a working studio. And then the roof is going to go on top of here. And then right at the top here will be the um, summer house or the, uh, the beach house at the top um, or the sun lounge, whatever we want to call it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's it so far. Um, <laughs> really, really exciting. I'm near the end of this build and then I can start dressing it. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to leave it there for this video. Um, I am carrying on with it at the moment. Um, I'm painting bits of uh, the fronts of the, the building, um, getting those painted white so I can glue everything together, put it in place. Um, I've put some more lighting in, um, very exciting. Um, and well, soon I'll be able to start dressing it. I don't want to do it a bit at a time. Um, as I build it, I want to do the build first of all and look at it as a whole and then start dressing. Um, but I have, I'm very excited. I've got lots of um, really, really nice pieces that I've saved up over the years um, and collected um, to go in this house. Um, and oh, and I have something very exclusive um, that came from Canada. Yay! Um, yes, a very uh, unique uh, item, a one off. Um, so that will be going in the house as well. I can't wait to show you. Very excited. Um, and also, this uh, the sheet in the room, not the white elephant, but the white sheet in the room. Um, I will reveal that very soon. Um, maybe after this video, maybe in a couple of videos time, depending on uh, if everything comes uh, for it that I've ordered. Um, but it is actually another commission. Yay, that's come in. I can't wait to tell you all about that. I won't tell you about it in this video. Um, we'll keep this the, the, the art in the Art Deco theme. Um, but yes, yeah, something very exciting, uh, just waiting for um, parts to arrive so I can get started. But that video will be coming very soon and it will be in parts. It will be done a bit at a time so you can see it all um, coming along. Um, but I sh as I say, I shall leave you here hopefully speak to you very very soon i'm sorry it's been over a week since my last uh, video i feel like i'm in confessions again <laughs> um but yes yeah, so i apologize for that folks things just take so much time and you you're waiting for parts you're waiting for bits to dry and the days go on really really quickly um but trust me i spend every day uh, working in here at the moment so I can get things done and get videos on for you guys as soon as possible. Um, so cheers, thank you very much and we'll speak to you again soon. Take care everyone, bye.